Hello everyone, in this video we will be going over input and output in C++. So we will see what input and output is, the different operators used for input and output in C++ and we will also look over what manipulators are. In C++, all input and output operations are performed on a sequence of bytes called stream. If the stream flows from a device like a keyboard, a disk drive, network connection, etc. to the main memory, then this is called an input operation. Similarly, if the bytes flow from main memory to a device such as display screen, printer, disk drive, etc. then it is called an output operation. IO stream library defines the objects C in, C out and C error corresponding to the standard input stream, standard output stream and standard error stream. Fstream library declares the services for uh, user control file processing. In C++, standard input is done using the cin operator of the iStream class. It is used to get the user input. It is used along with the extraction operator as shown. One thing which cin does is it automatically typecasts the inputted value to that of the variable. Now for strings, it takes the input till the first whitespace character. But if we want to input and store strings which contain white space characters, we will be using its function called getLine. Output in C++ In C++, standard output is done using the Cout operator of the OStream class. It is used to print the output to the console or other devices. It is used along with the insertion operator as shown. And one thing it does is it does not insert a new line character at the end of the output. What are manipulators? So manipulators belong to the IOManip library. They are functions that help to modify what we are writing to the output stream. So in essence, they help us to format our output. Some commonly used manipulators are endl, which is used to enter a new line, setw, which is used to set the width of the field for the output operations, setfill, it is used to fill the leading space of that width with a certain character. Left and right are used to align, align the output to the left of the width or to the right of the width. Now let's see all of this in action in code. Yes, so in this program what I've done is I've declared a couple of variables and let's try to input them uh, using the console and also output uh, them and see how cout and cin work. So firstly let's see how cout works. So in order to print dev down to my console the syntax would be cout followed by the insertion operator and the string which you would want to output. So let's compile this program. So as we can see, dev town gets printed into the console. Now what you also notice is that there is no new line character following dev town, which means uh, that cout does not actually append a new line character when it's printing. So to in order to append a new line character, we use the manipulator called endl. So again, we compile the program and we see that this time dev town is printed followed by a new line character. Now let's try to use cin to input values into each of these variables and see how we can do that and how uh, things behave when we are dealing with strings. Okay. So here, what I do is I'm trying to input a number and store it into int a. So I see out, uh, I tell to the user to input a number and then how we input a number to the variable a would be as simple as cn followed by the extraction operator and the variable name. So in this case, whatever value is inputted after this, if it is an integer, it gets uh, assigned to a. Then what I'm doing is I'm also printing the value of a to the console again to see uh, what is being stored. So enter a number, here I'll enter the number 1, 2, 3 and then we see that 1, 2, 3 gets printed. Now uh, let's see how we can input a floating point number. It's uh, literally the same way wherein we use cin, the extraction operator, followed by the variable name. Now, what we can also do is, instead of having two different lines of cin for an integer, for float, etc., if we want, we can also uh, have them written in the same line, wherein uh, 
based on the input b and a gets a, get assigned values so let's see how that works so let's say enter numbers and let's print out a and b as well so this is b comma so So we enter the numbers enter the numbers 12 and 13 and we see that 12 and 13 get assigned to b and a respectively similarly we can also input the same for a uh, for uh, a single character in words wherein we use c in ch or c in uh, str in this case in uh, str is a word and we'll be able to input the values so let's see here So enter the numbers 12.23 and 1 so we have 12.3 in b 2 in a then enter a character c we see that c is also getting stored in ch now let's see how we input a word into it so again make io clear dot slash io so enter numbers 12.3 2 enter a word word so uh, here we saw how to input integers floats uh, single characters and single words now what happens is cn when taking an input it takes to a white space character so until and unless a white space character is inputted that will get stored all the characters inputted before it will get stored in the variable when we try to store them using uh, cn now what happens if i try to input a sentence and an entire sentence so let's try that here So enter numbers 12.3 3 enter a sentence this is a sample sentence and what we see is that only the first word is getting stored in my variable str now why is that it's because as we said cn will take uh, when storing strings it will take the input till the first white space character so in this case the space over here will be the white space character so whatever is stored in str will be all the characters uh, all the non white space characters before it which would be this now what if we want to in, uh, enter an input uh, an entire sentence with white space characters onto a string so there are two ways of doing that there are two variations of the uh, get line method of scene class scene object rather so we could use this or we could use this so the two variations of get line will be get line c in str right so what's the difference between these two and what do these functions do so get line function uh, when uh, the third parameter which we are passing here would be the delimiter the first parameter is the scene object itself second parameter is where we want to store the value in this case str variable and the third parameter will be the delimiter to which we want to store the value so what this function does is by default it will store the entire string to str until and unless it encounters a new line character so when it enters uh, it will start reading the input and when it end uh, when it encounters a new line character it will store it to str now what we can do is we can change it to any other character we want so what this function with this overridden function will do is that it'll take the input till i encounter a dollar character and uh, all the characters before it will be get uh, will be stored into str so let's see that in action so this is a sentence i want to to store in str now what we notice is even though i press the enter key it still continues uh, to take the input so this is another sentence slash line now and this will keep on going till i encounter the dollar character so what i can do is i can have some other characters and then the dollar character 
then we see that everything before the dollar character was stored into str which is shown by the print over here now let's see how it will be if i do not specify the delimiter So enter a sentence this is a sentence i want to store in str now watch what happens when i press the enter key see as soon as i press the enter key it gets stored into my variable str now when we are trying to read entire lines of uh, uh, entire line of stream so basically when we want to play around with streams and we are using the get line function there can be some anomalies which we run into so for example i'll try to uh, and uh, i mean i'll try to store the string over here but what if i am taking a number input before it let's see how it behaves then so what i'm doing is enter numbers c in a b i mean c in b a i print them out and then i uh, and put a sentence let's see how this functions now so make io dot slash arrow so enter numbers so i go one and two hmm what happened here uh, my sentence looks empty it didn't let me input a sentence as well but it took the numbers as input correctly so this is where we come and we try to look more into the buffer uh, input buffer and how the stream works actually so whatever values whatever uh, you type into the console over here it is read as a stream but it is stored in a buffer so if i'm typing this is my input what it does is there will be a buffer which will store the same values which i am typing so in this case it will be this is my input and when i press the enter key it will be a new line character over here this entire thing will be a new line character slash i slash i now when i am trying to input numbers uh, so what i did here is one two and and the enter key so one space two and the slash in or the new line character now what will happen is when i do c in a b one and two will be inputted and uh, the buffer will be cleared till there that one basically when it read all of that part so what remains in the buffer after that will be after the scene operation will be something like this next what happens is we try to read it into get line so get line c in str now what this function does it will take the input till we encounter a new line character new line character is already present so my str will actually be empty str is empty and then my input my input buffer or stream will not contain anything so in this case it still had the slash n and after this get line it has nothing so we observe that if we if our buffer is consists of something before we are trying to use the get line function the outputs may be undesirable this is not what we wanted we wanted uh, we wanted the program to allow us to input another sentence which we'll store in str so how can we deal with that so one of the ways we deal with it is is we see we know uh, that it is just one character one new line character what i can do is i can store it in some variable maybe str itself and then i can take the input again so what i can do is before this i just do c in str such that uh, till a new line character whatever is there it will get stored in the str in a way we are clearing the buffer so in this case the str will be empty again but at least the buffer is cleared and after that uh, let's see how this works so maybe that will be easier to explain so i haven't saved this stuff right make io one and two and we see that it does allow us to input a sentence so this is a sentence hmm what is happening here so what this scene will do is uh let's look at the buffer again so i have one two slash n so after one two the slash n will remain then i input this is a sentence and what that c uh, c in str will do is it will uh, start reading from the first non white space character till we get a white space character which is this so entire entirety of this uh, the slash n will be ignored by 
p in str so this slash n will be ignored because that's what that's how scene works for strings and then this this will be stored into str so str will then contain this and this is what will remain in my buffer so uh, it isn't particularly reliable but uh, it helps you to understand how actually a scene will work i would suggest you to play around with it and understand it better so one of the ways to fix this or uh, uh, try to fix it is using the ws so it's basically a keyword i would say wherein it uh, takes away whatever white space character is present first at the uh, buffer and then let's see how the changes behave so So one, two, and this is a sentence. This is sentence. So this is what we expected, right? So what it'll do is uh, here when we have slash in, this is a sentence slash in again. Again. So what it'll do is it'll clear up this slash in all the white space, the one white space character before it, and this is a sentence will again get inputted to my str now let's look at another case what if what uh, this this solution which i presented using the ws uh, keyword will work only for one white space character what if i want to clear the entirety of my buffer so let's look at an example how that could arise so here what i do is um, so I want to input a string till I encounter the dollar character. And then what I'll do is I'll try to input another string and store it in str. So we are storing two sentences and we are printing them out. Uh, and before that, we also input two numbers. <clears throat> I already know that C in WS will work here because uh, just one new line character is present and I want to get it removed before trying to store anything into this str. So we make io dot slash io so it asks me to enter two numbers so one two enter so sentence number one sentence one part two and then i press the dollar key what if i fill it with some more characters right so before pressing the enter key i want to fill it with something else so this is sentence 2 and then i press the enter key hmm. what did we observe we didn't actually get a chance to input something for the second get line and uh, it um, it takes the input basis on the basis of what was already present in the input buffer so in such a case we would ideally want to clear, clear our uh, buffer before trying to input it again here so what's happening is here we have a new line character after a and b are inputted a new line character this is sentence one dot 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 till we encounter a dollar then we have some more characters until slash n so what uh what get line str sorry get line c in str and here dollar will do is it'll take up all of the input uh, I already have a C in WS, so this new line character will be removed. It'll take in all the input till before the uh, dollar symbol, and also it'll remove the dollar symbol from the buffer. So the entirety of this gets removed, and my str will then become equal to this with the dollar sign removed. Now, what we observe is we already have something more in the buffer, and ideally, we want we would want to get it flushed or cleared before trying to input another sentence so one way you do that is using the scene.ignore message so uh, what it what scene.ignore takes is a size so basically how many characters we would want to uh, omit from our uh, buffer and or till delimiter so basically uh, it will be either uh, for example if i type it 100 so it will be 100 characters or till we encounter this delimiter what we are doing here is uh, we import numeric limits class and we go to max so 
for the stream size we go to the entirety of the stream size which is present or till we encounter a slash in character now what this will do is effectively whatever is present in our stream it will get emptied so this will be a more concrete solution of uh, clearing our uh, clearing our input buffer before trying to input a syntax so let's again test these changes so make io dot slash io we input two numbers one two the first sentence dollar second sentence enter so we see that it the input is only till first sentence and let's try to input another sentence so this is the final sentence so uh, as observed we see that the entirety of what was present after the dollar symbol was removed ignored or cleared from our buffer and then we uh, use the fresh buffer to take another input and store it to our second string so this was about uh, inputting strings using c in and get line now let's go and talk about manipulators right so as discussed before manipulators actually help to format our output to make it more presentable or to present it in a way it's more appealing to the eye that's it really so what i'm doing here is i take a string s string s called dev town i print it and a first manipulator we'll talk about is endl which we have already talked about it adds a new line character while printing the output so at the end of s there will be a new line character so then we see about set w and set fill so what set w does is it sets the width to be 10 so that all the outputs after this will have a set of set width of 10 and then what set fill will do is it will fill all the leading spaces with whatever character we give it here so in this case it's a, a hashtag so if s does not take up length 10 all the spaces remaining after s till 10 will get filled with a hash let's see how that works So we see that all the leading spaces before dev town were filled with hash now within this as well within these 10 spaces also what if we want dev town to come first and the hash is next so that's where left and right manipulators come into play so uh, within that width we can also set where we want our output to appear so So what we observe is right so we set the width to 10 we set the fill to hash and then we print s this is what we get now for it to continue what we do is we remove s and let's see how it comes when I'm aligning it to the left right so out of the 10 spaces dev down gets aligned to the left and let's see how what happens when we align it to the right we see that dev, uh, of the 10 spaces dev down gets aligned to the right of it this was all about input and output in c++ thank you